Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Nikun Jani and today I'll be talking to you about a question which all of us are aware of it and the question which bothers all of us. Why do we age? And what is aging? If you know India is still considered a very young nation. We have not reached so you read in the newspapers or you read in the various magazines that India is a young country. We are a young force, but this will not remain the same over the years. It is estimated by that 2030, India will have nearly 300 million elderly population, which will be above the age of 60. That will be nearly be 12% of the workforce. And that 12% of the population which India is going to have, are we equipped to deal with them? Are we equipped to handle the aging uh, processes and the country which ages over a period of time? We need to look into this. So the first question is, why do we age? Now, aging is something which uh, every one of us goes through. Now, what is aging? The changes which occur at the level of our physical functioning and also the structures of our body over the year of passing years and over a period of time is called as an aging process. Every human being who comes onto this planet is going to age and all of us will age. So it is something which we cannot escape. But what are the changes which occur and why do we age? That would be the next question. In aging, there are many theories which are about aging of why are we aging, the reasons for aging, but there is no one conclusive theory which will say that we age because of this reason. It is said that there is a genetic predetermined lifespan in which a species is supposed to live for a certain years. This is one of the most important theories. Number two is over a period of time, the cells, they, they start becoming irreplaceable cells are formed or the cells which are important are perished because of the over the years. Three would be there is a lot of free radicals and toxins which are released in the body over the period of time. Those the body cannot replenish or remove them and that is why we age. Also stress, over the years what uh, stress, physical, mental, the environmental factors which play upon the human being also makes the body and the cells age. So these are the few theories which tell us that we this is the reason why we age. Now, do or is aging a difficulty? Or the question is, does aging has to be that bad? The answer would be no. 90% of the time, most people age in the normal way. And there will be certain changes which are attributed to aging. And those would be considered normal. Like there will be graying of hair, which is the obvious uh, symptom, you know, which tells us the aging is occurred. There will also be certain symptoms at the level of uh, body or the changes which will occur. Like our stomach will start, reduce the secretion of gastric juices because of which the food digestion will not take place in the what is supposed to be in the younger years. So that is why you see a lot of elderly coming you know with complaints of uh, acidity or stomach or they're not able to digest food or they're not able to eat rich food. This is primarily because of the secretions which are diminished in the stomach. Number two would be uh, there will be the intestines will become sluggish. So you will see a lot of elderly coming up with complaints of constipation because that's a natural process over a period of time which the body goes through. But there will be dryness of the skin. So you will see a lot of elderly, there will be wrinkling and the dryness of the skin which would be there. But these are complaints because there is a functional loss of the skin and the elasticity which has occurred and because of which we are able to see the wrinkling and the dryness. The natural oil production of the skin is lost. After that, can there be some structural involvement also? Yes. Now the human body is designed that cert as we age, certain organs which are earlier supposed to be soft start becoming harder. For example, our arteries. Our arteries which are supposed to carry the blood across, which are supposed to be soft, over the years of degeneration, they start becoming hardened. And this hardened leads to increase in blood pressure, atherosclerosis and all the other cardiovascular complaints. The things which are supposed to be uh, in a size tend to grow big. For example, prostate gland in males. You see, majority of the males over a period of time, the prostate gland increases in size, which leads to some amount of minor complaints in the men as they age, advance in their age. But 
not all of them go through complaints of prostrate or troubles of that people who go through have to be treated also the bones which are supposed to be hard and strong as age advances they start becoming soft and brittle so you see even a small kind of a fall will lead to a fracture or the breakage in the bone which is there for the elderly so that is where care has to be taken also there are functioning at the various levels which are lost and you see at the level of body we see changes and also we see changes at the level of the brain physically as well as mentally you start seeing changes now brain of course it because it is a tissue it will there will be changes which will occur at the level of brain as well and there is a loss of neurons also there is reduction in the size of the brains now this is not something which is very drastic but over a period of time there is a minor reduction in majority of the people if we look at the scans and we serially study them also there is a difficult uh, diminished transmission efficiency so you see the spontaneity or the way in which the brain used to function in the younger years is not seen in the elderly also there is a little degeneration which occurs over a period of time which may lead to certain amount of forgetfulness or not remembering things mind you not everyone who ages goes through the problem of memory but at times you see that there is some amount of difficulty in recalling things or names or places and this is absolutely normal and this is something which is memory loss due to aging of course memory loss can in the old age is not something which is to be neglected and not all of it can be attributed to aging process as well in some of the memory loss could be because of the underlying uh, diseases especially of the brain maybe as now the words which we hear of dementia alzheimer's disease and a lot more names which now we are able to hear more frequently in the media so i give you an example one of our patients uh, came and she said doctor my mother is 65 years of age and of lately uh, she keeps forgetting her things probably you know the purse or small house keys and when she does not know she creates a whole ruckus and takes the whole house on the head and we find it very difficult to deal with her but she also understands that she is forgetting things can we help her this was one incident give you another example one daughter in law came to us and she said her father in law who was ex professor of uh, the college and uh, what he was a brilliant man always known for his intellect and this gentleman over a period of time has been forgetting things and she said especially when i give him his morning cup of tea there are times when he comes and shouts that you have forgotten to give me the cup of tea and like i make it a point to give him his cup of tea every day then why does he do that and the same person when his old friends come they talk about their old years or the uh, the era gone by and he talks for hours then why does he forget the cup of tea so that lady asks is he have any problem with me or is he doing it purposely or is it actually genuinely that there is some problem which we need to look into can there be something done for this now these are situations where a lot of us may have experienced it in our lives as well give you a third example uh, one of uh, the man came to us in the clinic and he said that his grandmother has been a very quiet and a mild lady all his life never having spoken even a harsh word to people who have offended her of lately they have seen a change in her behavior she has been shouting she has been snapping and she has been very rude to the house helps something which she has never done in her entire life so the family was a little concerned that a person who has been such a mild and a respected lady has become more irritable and snappish just suddenly and what could be the reasons for it is there something which she needs to be looked into or they should consult somebody or is it some kind of a mental disorder which is coming up now these are situations which a lot of us may have seen in our daily life as well so how do we deal with it and if you look at it is what is a memory loss due to old age if you recall the first experience which i shared with you the lady forgets her keys she does not remember where she has kept them or the purse which is there but when pointed out she remembers oh i had forgotten it so the memory related age related memory loss is something similar to this where there is a forgetfulness especially of some names or some unknown person over a year suddenly comes in front of you you're not able to recall it instantly 
but giving certain hints they will be able to recall that or somebody takes up while chopping vegetables suddenly picks up a pen and starts chopping vegetables and when pointed out they say oh i'm so sorry it is so silly of me that you know i picked up a pen instead of a knife they are able to differentiate and discriminate this usually is because of the aging process but memory loss because of a disease process will be something very very different you see the second instance which i shared about the professor and that's where a cup of tea has been given to him but still he is not able to recollect that a cup of tea was served to him and this is occurring repeatedly over a period of time also there will be instances when somebody has gone out and an old friend may say oh i'm seeing you hello mr and i'm seeing you after a long time for your morning walks where had you gone and he says oh i've been to this place you know he's not able to recollect the name say so, oh that place you know it's a very historical city uh, very big city and uh, it is also the capital of our country and that's when the man says oh new delhi and that's the time he is able to recall so he is able to understand that it is a historical city it is the capital of our country but the name is they are not able to recall names they may be able to recall an old memory very clearly or vividly but the recent memories are not being able to recall just like somebody serving you a cup of tea also when we do or subject them to a mini mental state examination with mmsc which is called as a lot of geriatricians neuropsychiatrists neurologists subject their patients to that or when a scan mri is done you will see there will be changes at the level of structure as well now these are symptoms which or these are conditions which need to be treated or you need to seek medical help for them now which brings us to what is this memory loss or the forgetting which is there it you know a lot of we use vaguely terms like dementia alzheimers have been vaguely used in the media are they the same or they are different or what is it now to be very simplify you know it is just to make you understand dementia and alzheimers are two distinct things dementia is something which is a bigger umbrella which can be under which there will be a lot of subsections is something like fever now all of us in this covid era are scared of fever but fever could be something which is a expression of something which is going wrong in the body a fever could be because of an infection a urinary tract infection or a congestion in the chest or a pneumonia that can give rise to fever there will be an inflammation or swelling which is there that is bringing rise to fever a fever could be because of malaria the mosquitoes or dengue which you see in the rainy seasons so this fever could be a part of this or fever could be a part of some suppuration or sepsis or the infection which is there in the body or a larger scale so fever is an expression of so many of the diseases which could be there in the body same is with dementia dementia can be because of alzheimer's disease now alzheimer's disease is something which is the most commonest form of uh, memory loss which is there dementia so dementia because of alzheimer's disease would be something like dementia alzheimer's disease dementia or there would be dementia because of vascular complaints like the blood pressure changes in the blood pressure the flow and this is the second most cause and probably the most rising cause of dementia in india which is being seen nearly 30% of dementia is nowadays vascular dementia there are the other uh, different diseases also which can lead rise to dementia and there are some rare ones like parkinsons which in the later stages also affect the brain and dementia because of parkinsons disease is also known so using a term vaguely of dementia of somebody who is just forgetting trivial things which i said of the old lady is not correct so it is very important that the caregiver or the people in the house need to know how and when to report or consult or seek medical advice so when do you do that suddenly you see changes in the elderly you see sudden memory loss the lady was fine a few months ago and suddenly you are seeing a memory loss which is there she is forgetting things very repeatedly or you see there is poor concentration which is there in the old lady or there is a certain loss of language they are not able to articulate properly or speak properly that is the time you will see or there is some kind of seizures which the elderly experiences and they were never got an episode of that that is something which to look into or they have been losing control over their bowel and bladder 
or they are able you see them wanting to be confined in their beds and not wanting to come out these are changes which one needs to be aware and alert to also you see changes in the mood like i talked about the third instance of the patient where the lady's mood became very snappish very irritable which was not her natural disposition so that is a change you see personality changes and you see them experiencing more anxiety phobia fears restlessness they start experiencing certain delusions and probably uh, the violence and the rage in their behavior these are signs which the caregiver or the family members have to be very alert to now if these are experienced by your family member it is the right time to seek medical advice and consult a good geriatrician or a neurologist or neuropsychiatrist whomever you are comfortable with and they will be able to help you and the medical treatment is available for these conditions modern medicine alternative medicine all have certain amount of help or medicines which will be able to help these conditions but it is important to treat them at the early stages as the disease advances there is limitations of every treatment modality is seen and then it becomes very difficult to bring them under control and it will only be a mere palliation with the uh, medicines which is available so it is very important for us to understand the normal aging process what the normal aging process does to our body which all of us eventually will go through in our lives and there will be certain diseases or changes which will occur in our body because of the normal aging process and there will be certain diseases which will be because of the aging process which can be treated and which need to be treated and there will be certain conditions which affect the body as the age advances and there are structural changes which will need urgent medical help i hope this lecture has been able to give some insights into these topics thank you so much